Hey folks, so today I'm going to walk through a recipe for some simple chili bread. First things first, you want to grab some scales and a mixing bowl, measure out 500 grams of bread flour, 10 grams of salt, and 7 grams of instant yeast, that's one standard packet. Now, you're going to want to pour in 220ml of warm water, 40ml of oil, and start mixing it up with your hand. It's going to get messy. As you're mixing, you're going to want to add more water bit by bit until the dough is soft and damp but not sopping wet, and also stick the chili flakes in at this point. This is really up to taste, but 2 teaspoons is probably a pretty good place to start. Once the dough is nice and mixed, you're going to want to put a bit of oil on a clean work surface, spread it out a bit, stick your dough down there and start kneading it. All this involves is stretching it out, holding it back on itself and rotating it by 90 degrees, and just keep repeating that. You're going to need to do this for about 10 to 15 minutes, but that's alright because it will replace you with your session. So once we've been kneading for a few calorie yet from forms, it should be nice and scratchy. Grab a clean mixing bowl, grease it up with a small amount of oil, stick the dough in, cover with a tea towel, and leave it in a warm room to rise for about an hour and a half to three hours until it's doubled in size. So it's been about an hour and a half, our dough is nice and risen, so now what we want to do is knock all the air out of it. We're going to turn our dough out onto a floured surface and basically just punch it. You might find it helpful to fold the dough in half a couple of times while you're doing this. So we've knocked all the air out, now we want to form our dough into a nice, evenly thick rectangle, fold in the long edges to the middle, turn it over, tuck in the ends, and gently roll it back and forth. This is going to make it into a nice blooming shape. Now you're going to touch. Either plate your dough into a grease loafing or onto a grease baking pan. Either way, stick it in a plastic bag from the supermarket of your choice, or just cover it with a tea towel, and let it rise for another hour or so. Again, we want to double it inside. Once you've done that, take your least favourite baking tray, place it on the bottom shelf of your oven, fill it with about 3 litres of water, slide it in, and turn the oven on to 220 degrees C. With the dough risen again, spread it with some water, dust it with flour, scroll the top with a sharp knife, stick it in the oven for 25 minutes, after that, turn it up to 240 for another 15 minutes. After about 40 minutes, our bread should be done. We're going to take it out of the oven, give it a tap on the bottom to check that it's done. It should sound hollow. If it does sound hollow, stick it on a wire rack and let it cool. If not, stick it back in the oven for 5 minutes and you should be good. Either way, once it's nice and cool, you can cut it open and enjoy.